Wife and I are headed out to see Jeff Suffering with the band 90 Pound Wuss. First time in 23 years. Let's hit the road. So this is what we call around here driving around, going to the peninsula without taking the ferry, actually the faster route, ironically. The ferry is a much more scenic route, but with the top down and the G6 sunny day, it was a nice day for a good long drive going around. out here. Suburban. Hey Pablo, we're going to set our uh, cabinets. There you go. Boom. The venue was a movie house and they do concerts there which is cool. This is our seats right here kind of in the back. It has like a table in front of us. First opening band was the middle-aged queers from the Bay Area hoping to get sued by Motley Crue. Yes. Oh, the singer was the solo us. rides began in June and ended in July. We get two months, Pride Month and Wrath Month. So we're we're wrapping up Wrath Month. This song is about uh, how corporations once a year put rainbows on their logo to try and sell you something you don't need. Can you believe that? Or you don't want. Totally unrelated. We have hand handmade tie dye T-shirts that are rainbows, and they made them. This is totally unrelated because you're giving money to actual homo queers. <laughs> so the song is called This Song is Sponsored by Absolute Vodka. by the merch table they had some good stuff they probably had the best vinyl there this was josh the bass player he was cool to hang out with and the fibs Fibs, great band. I really liked the singing and the band, the punk, metal, you know, a bit of kind of a grungy feel in there somewhere. The fibs were awesome. A little bittersweet with the Fibs as far as uh, that may be their last show. You know, it's one of those things you don't really know. Bands are about relationships and passion for the music, but when band members live in different areas and everyone still has jobs and it makes it very difficult to sustain a band. I get it, you know? It happens with a lot of bands. It happened with my, uh, my friend Jeff. But then 23 years later,
see that's loud. Yeah. involved with a cult and you're in a cult for 16 years, so um, really this cult can really fuck you up. So. Um, anyway, you made it though, man. It's all right. well what happened is is, uh, is Jonathan was bugging me, then he said, well what about 90 pound Wuss? And I'm like, I don't know, who can play guitar? Because you know, uh, obviously I wasn't thinking about John who was on the first and the second record. <laughs> John Spaulding, who replaced John Hemmelberger on the rest of the second record and the third record, died of cancer in 2008. And so, you know, he kind of had a unique guitar sound. And uh, anyway, so it turns out that Jonathan Ford decided to talk to his friends. He did Furnace Fest. They ended up calling me. I actually saw Marty and John Hemmelberger at a funeral for our good friend, Jonathan Simonson, his kids are here, and we really appreciate it. So, today, and all the stuff. Anyways, we, he meant a lot to us growing up, and we're probably a band because of Jonathan Simonson moving to Port Angeles from LA. Um, so, I saw them at this funeral for him, and I mentioned this thing. Lo and behold, a week later, we get a phone call. We talked about it, we decided we we're going to do this thing, and, uh, so here we are. You yeah. want Something none of us on stage thought we'd ever do again. John Hamilton, yeah. Matt Bailey, who did play in 90 Pound Wuss before, and he was in the band and did a West Coast tour with us. And Carl's brother in law, Marty Martinez. Woo! And. Yeah. He's a fellow of us. He's a fellow it's because he's seen Fine Frog Baja shirt though. Okay, so this is Colin Day. He is a new Colin! Good friend, he's seen us play. He's played in bands that have played with us when we were on the East Coast. So, um, yeah, we decided, you know, the, the best bet to try to recreate uh, John Spaulding stuff and to honor him was to have two guitar players, and I think that it's paid off. We worked a lot, so hopefully it's good for you. Fun. But that's the story for why we're here, if, you, if anybody wanted to know. And there's been a team of people helping us. This is our first show in 23 years. Thank you, Flash. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. And John and Colin for working on this sound tonight. Thank you, Josh Hammond, for doing lights for us. Thank you, especially. This video was created by um, Seth Mendonca yeah. and his dad. Joe, who I am in another band called Dry Bones. And yes, uh, there's a whole team. Thank you, Maurice, and Trey, and Zach, and Seth. Everybody, this has been amazing. We really appreciate all the hard work everybody's put into this, and we're thankful for you. Yeah.
Thanks for coming. Thanks to our good friends, MXPX and Bremerton, for always being there alongside of us over these years. Thanks for being here when we come back. We really appreciate you guys and all of you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to all of us. Good night. We had a great freaking time, right, Dana? Yep. And uh, awesome. we, we even helped, helped the guys put stuff in the cars and the truck and things. Packed up some equipment. But yeah, Jeff has just got this crazy killer energy out there on uh, live. And so did the other bands. The other bands were great. All of them were. But Jeff, wow. Yeah, just the, that guy, man, and that energy. Amazing. That's why their live shows are so great. But uh, also, we met a guy who's playing in our town in Everett, like tomorrow night. And this is that band playing right here as we exit Bremerton. The city there in the background uh jeff gave me this during the interview but i got some of the guys to sign it john hamelberger this is uh this is a great record um it's on black black vinyl in case you didn't see before 90 pound wuss shorthand operation last 10 copies there was a few still there they the vinyl collectors picked up i think the last of that uh i got some cds from jeff and jeff's suffering and the hideous thieves this is more uh more of him singing and more mellow than the punk stuff we're used to it's uh i mean it's still punk but it's more you know more joy division kind of punk than 90 pound wuss kind of punk it's another one from uh jay suffering and the hideous thieves there's that this was cool i didn't even i mean until jeff was telling me they made a couple of cds back in the day raft of dead monkeys also, uh, yeah, there's another thing. Matt Johnson, which I did. Uh, I'll put that in the end screen. I had a conversation with Matt Johnson. He played drums on this here record, the last 90 pound Wuss record, Matt Johnson. Matt Johnson was also in Raft of Dead Monkeys. And that's Teresa, his chess wife, by the way, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is, a, this is an interesting piece of music right here. Raft of Dead Monkeys. I also got the uh, the pin of the guy on the first record. The cartoon guy picking his nose. The 90 pound wuss. How to get that. And then, of course, the Fibs. We got this is from 2018. The Fibs release. Um, now, this was cool. So, the Middle Age Queers has some vinyl. Some pretty sweet vinyl. And it's funny because uh, this is the tour they're doing now. It's called Shout at the Hetero, <laughs> which is pretty. It's the, they're hoping, and then Sean, the lead singer, was said that they're hoping to get sued by Motley Crue because that would be great. <laughs> right? That would be just the kind of publicity to push them up, uh, you know, in the public eye. So this is Shout at the Hetero. I have to show you the wax for this too. Uh, this is impressive. I was at, you signed it, Sean did. And then uh, the rest of the band signed, we got another one. But it's on this like pink, it's got this pink uh, splatter kind of thing going on, on there. So that's, that's pretty cool. This is a 10 inch 45 RPM record. It's punk rock, man, that's what it is. 
as you heard the samples that were there. This is another one. Uh, two fag for love. <laughs> this is middle-aged queers. They signed all this. Uh, the drummer uh, signed it. She was like, yeah, this is, there's Josh and uh, the guitarists. They were great. This is, Sean's like, I gained some weight and I couldn't zip the pants up all the way. A drummer took the picture, you know. It's, uh, yeah, same font, right, as uh, Too Fast for Love. Pretty great. And then he gave, he just, like, here, you know, you can have one of these. Project they did with another band. Outpunks Records. Uh, Turkey Blaster Records. So the, he, he said that uh, there was a company in the UK that pressed these records and they did a pretty good job. You know, they did, they, it was actually a little cheaper than having them pressed here in the States. And the turnaround was faster. So they were able to get the records quicker. Um, look at that, that's pretty cool, right? You can see, yeah, the splatter, clear vinyl. Very cool, gave that a spin. There's the seven inch, which is uh, size queen. <laughs> and they did this with the lolly gig, gig or so on the back. And it's pink and green. Very cool. So yeah, if you're looking for have records pressed, let me know, uh, hit me up in the comment section, I'll see if Pass along the information. Oh man. All right. That's uh, the middle aged queers right there. I got this shirt. This is from 90 Pound Wuss, the cowboy guy. And Dana got a shirt like the like he was saying in the, the clip I shared with the tie dye shirt, right? Another image they borrowed and changed a little bit. Uh, and some of you may recognize this image. <laughs> Green Day fans, possibly. Uh, so middle-aged queers are from the Bay Area. And uh, yeah, I guess like Billy Joel or someone from the band was like, yeah, that's fine. That's cool. <laughs> We're okay with that. So they're not going to get sued by Green Day with that was a pretty cool story. Jeff was wearing a, a shirt that people were asking a lot about, and it's actually, it's Joel Olstein with a crown of thorns. Uh, that's that's the image that's on the shirt. So a little bit of, you know, poking at the popular Christian culture out there. Had a great freaking time. Wife and I, top down, summertime, punk rock show, living life. Hope everyone's doing great. Hope you're you're well and and you're getting out of the house and 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 living life, man. Because man, going to a rock and roll show it just uh, just feeds the soul. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. You know what to do. Like the video. Don't like the video. Nah, you know. I'm gonna leave you with uh, what could be the fibs. Last performance, right here at the end. Zaire, Delia, Pablo Ferris, I'm Sean Madrizzo. Thank you guys so much. Thank you if it's your first time, but thank you guys that have been there for the last almost nine years. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope we do it again. If we don't, what are we going to do? This song's called Running Away. If you think you'd heard it on the radio, you haven't. It was just us. We were hiding under your bed.
No. This thing is fun. Look at Trump. You're not getting Yeah, yeah.